This is Wander001 with my review and thoughts on the Prey Project, an uh, open source tracking program for your laptop, tablets, and mobile smartphones. Uh, here we can see this is the main website for Prey Project, so it's preyproject.com. And I'll just quickly run through. So, homepage, we have downloads up here. You can download this for multiple devices, including PCs, Macs, Linux. Then you have your standard Linux Ubuntu, uh, Android, and iOS devices. Now, they do offer a free version, which is what I reviewed and went over, because I prefer free if I can get away with it. However, they do have pro versions, and you can go through this at your discretion if you feel that it's something that you want to pursue. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to log in. And this is the main screen that you see once you log in. Uh, you will be able to use this program on up to three devices. Uh, in this case, this is my laptop. I gave it the name Zale. You can have uh, two other devices if you already have one. Now, the way that the software works is it down uh, once you put it onto the device, it loads itself onto the root menu of a device. What is the root menu, you might ask? That is the main menu. So here you can see computer, C drive, and then Prey. That is the Prey software. Rather than loading it under uh, program files, it loads itself on its own directory. Uh, makes it a little harder to find. Uh, if you do have somebody who knows what they're doing and what they're looking for, they could discover it, but uh, most people won't. Yes, if they remove your hard drive or take your computer apart, you're out of luck because this is a software-based tracking program. Uh, so what we see here is this is the laptop. When it is not in track mode, the screen on the device will look blue. Here you can see that there are two reports that I ran as well as last reports over here, which I did eight days ago in preparation for testing this. Uh, what you can do is you click on the device itself and that will bring you into the main options area for the device that you clicked on. Uh, I did shrink the uh, the visible screen at the moment. Uh, there is some other information on the side here, but it's more of a personal content, so you don't really want to have that in a video. Uh, it's basically device information, so uh, it's the owner, the status of the device, device type, operating system, as well as a key. And there will be another option on the right hand, or sorry, left hand side. Uh, that will list the reports that you have. Now you can have up to 10 reports, uh, but on the free account, that's 10 reports scattered across your three devices. So if you have three devices, 10 reports for all of them in total. Uh, so here, I'll walk you through the main options area. You have missing or not missing, so it's yes or no. If it's not missing, you don't have to click it. Uh, this activation mode is just for pro accounts, so you can't really do anything with it frequency of the reports gathered. You can set it up from 10 minutes to 40 minutes for the purpose of this review. I did 10 minutes. So I will go on the left hand side first because this is information gathered once you say the device is missing. So you can geolocate the device, you can check the networks, check active connections, get nearby Wi-Fi, trace routes, session. So when you're gathering session information, you're gathering screenshots, modified files, modified files slash time, paths, and all this fun stuff that you can just kind of hand over to the authorities and say, here, uh, this is what happened. Help me find this. Uh, over here, actions to be performed. These are things that you can do uh, separate from gathering information from the missing device. You can turn an alarm on. Uh, just keep in mind that it says these actions will happen regardless of if the computer is uh, marked as missing or not. So these can all happen whether it's marked as missing or not. Uh, alert. Alert is kind of cool. It'll pop up this little message on the screen. And when I tried it out, I got this. So as soon as my computer connected to a wire wireless signal, this message popped up just like I had set it on the actual dashboard itself. Uh, now, I did not realize at first that 
I have a very aggressive firewall and it, it asked permission before it popped this up, but after I tweaked the firewall and said whatever, I cycled the computer again and this is, it popped up without being prompted, which is what I want or what you would want as well. Now, the only problem that I ran into is using these functions here, you can lock it, so you'll need to put this password in before you can use the computer, and security, this will delete uh, cookies, history, any emails that you have open, save passwords on the computer. These functions here with the free version uh, do not turn on unless the computer is turned off and then turned back on again. It, it won't allow you to do on demand, which they say for the premium version. So if you do these, the computer must be turned off and then turned back on before any one of these actions will happen. Now, if you sleep your computer or the computer isn't turned off, these won't work at all. So just keep that in mind. There's also a save button down here that if you change anything here or on this side, you will need to save before anything will happen. And over here on the left, I forgot to say you can get running programs and turn the webcam on. So what will happen when you mark your computer as missing? Well, the first thing that happens is you mark it as missing, you hit yes, saves that, and your device is marked as missing. So we'll go back to the devices page, which you won't be able to see me clicking on, but it'll bring you back. So it marks it as missing and it's gonna send a report. So I'm just gonna take that off right now because I don't need reports, save. And right after you do this, you'll get an email in your inbox that looks like this. As you can see, it will tell you uh, email to the device, uh, the email that you provide for the device. Um, hey, you know, sorry, your, your computer's missing. Uh, we'll send you reports based on the allotted time between reports that you designated. And that, that's kind of nice so you know if you didn't do it, somebody else did it. Uh, the only thing I don't like is this tip increase uh, your storage capacity for reports. So pretty much down here they're giving you a sales pitch. But, you know, it is a free product so you are going to have to see ads of some sort. Uh, just like there's probably an ad in this video somewhere. Uh, so when you get a uh, report in, you'll get an email that looks like this. So this is the email for when you get a actual report in. Good news, me, uh, there's a report that came in. If you click on this link here, it will open up the report and I will show you what that looks like now. So clicking the link in the email or going to the reports tab in the main area will bring you to this page if you have any reports. Uh, I like having a lot of information in my reports, so I pretty much have everything turned on, so it'll give you a good idea. Uh, here you can see location based on just Wi-Fi pinpointing, uh, and it's spot on. Uh, I also had the webcam turned on, so once it sent a report, it grabbed the webcam picture. In this case, I have uh, two little thieves here who stole my laptop and the particular screens that they were looking at. So this is a, a screenshot of the desktop so you can see all active windows. In this case, they're looking up local birds and stupid cat pictures. And they have something written on the notepad here. And if you click on any of these, it will make it bigger. Uh, you can't see all of it because I popped it out and it goes beyond the recording range of my screen here. Just click that and it'll shrink it down. Now I should mention that, oh, again, because I'm only capturing a small region of my computer screen to block out some of the more sensitive information on the left-hand side of this page, it has uh, information based on device name, uh, time it was sent, uh, user agent, network information such as remote IP, private IP, gateway IP, and MAC address for the particular device, and a listing of the reports. Now. Even if you're using a private Wi-Fi or a closed Wi-Fi, um, it will still send a report and gather information based on that. I, this, I tried this both on my personal uh, locked encrypted Wi-Fi as well as borrowing one of my neighbor's unencrypted Wi-Fi uh, names to test this out. So again, we'll make screenshot a little bigger. There are the cats that stole my computer. 
and we'll continue scrolling down. The rest of the information that is gathered, uh, the particular user that's logged in. So if you have several users on the computer, you can tell which one of them was compromised. It'll also show all running programs, any modified files, uh, the total uptime for the computer. So I have two reports that were taken and it was a total uptime of 22 minutes and five seconds because I had the frequency of the report set to 10 minute intervals. It will show you active connections and there's a lot of information that you can gather from the active connections which is why I hid them and as I said it will triangulate your location based on Wi-Fi signals in this case you can see uh, the neighbor's Wi-Fi that I was on Peach uh, another Wi-Fi New York and Mookie uh, there are several others because I live in an uh, apartment complex so there is a, a vast amount of these and the list goes on and on and on but I didn't want to have them all there and here is the complete trace so this will hop around uh, do some googly moogie that I'm gonna get into uh, pretty much what you can do is you hand this off to a police officer and it, it, it will help them vastly in locating your computer as a final follow-up I thought I would uh, go through the last few of the menus here that I skipped on the devices uh, so if you click on the configure configuration menu here you can change the device name and you know, all the other information that you want to have about your device. Uh, and the majority of these are pro options. Uh, this is just, it will send instructions to the computer uh, in an encrypted format. And this offline action, I think, might actually be one of the reasons uh, why the, the free version might require a, a computer start and restart before uh, it actually sends information. I didn't want to test this one because it, you know, it, for the purposes of this test, I, I wasn't really concerned about offline actions. I was worried about sending out information. Uh, this hardware, I'm going to skip because it lists hardware and serial numbers and all sorts of things for uh, the hard drive, your motherboard, just everything and I don't want to have that in a video and this is another way that you can get to the reports if you click on the reports it will give you a visual uh, representation based on the people who took your laptop uh, all in all with it being a, a free program I think it's actually uh, well worth your time to look into uh, the the loading of the program onto the computer is a little bit cumbersome and you have to do it, even though they allow you three devices, you have to do uh, three different installs. Now, if you've got a pro version, uh, they have what's known as a batch install, so you can do multiple devices all at once, even if you have their baseline $5 a month uh, pro version, which only allows you to have three, op, uh, three attached devices, but it allows you to have up to 100 reports and the batch installer. Uh, as I said, it's free. It's not as good as if you low-jacked your, your mobile device, uh, but it, it's pretty much as good as uh, Find Your iPhone. So I would give it a look.